and I got a book called Caffeinated by Murray Carpenter. Have you heard of the book at all? Um, no, not actually, no. What's it about? Uh, so I like books that change my mindset on certain things. Right. This book details the controversy behind caffeine. And what the author says in just the introductions is he kind of makes the case that caffeine is an addictive drug. Now, when I first heard that, you know, you kind of roll your eyes like, oh, really? Caffeine's an addictive drug, right, really? Yeah, yeah, so many people drink coffee, though. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And it's not just in coffee. I think he said it's nine out of the ten most popular soft drinks in America have caffeine in it. Yeah. And, so it doesn't and then you have, you know, businesses like Starbucks. I mean, they're, they're making a, the business out of caffeine. Yeah. Um, and he brings up a lot of interesting points. Like, first of all, you know how you have pills that have caffeine in them? Have you ever heard of those? Yeah, They're yeah, supposed yeah. to make you alert, right? right? Right, Those are all regulated by the FDA, and they have to have warnings on the labels that talks about uh, the side effects of caffeine. So, like, with heart problems and everything. But, but a 12-year-old could go online right now yeah. and order just pure caffeine not even type their age into the website and they could just have it at their doorstep. There's no FDA regulation for pure caffeine, but there's regulation for caffeine pills. Really? Does that make sense? Wait, there actually isn't any regulation. You can just buy that? You can just buy it online. That's nuts. It is. But I feel like people don't realize how bad coffee is. Like, they don't. I mean, there's pr the pros obviously are... You know, it decreases fatigue and it but speeds like up your like reactions. That, like for a time period, like after that, I feel like it doesn't. It's like it's like anything with sugar. Yeah, and you get a cat. Like, haven't you heard of caffeine crashes? Yeah. So in that, in that way, it is just like a, a drug. Gives you a little high. Gives you the or a high. little alertness. Yeah, and it's there's people that are that wake up in the morning and they depend on that coffee to get through the morning. Oh yeah, you. I remember like um. Like the person at our school, there was a person at our school who won most caffeine dependent. Caffeine dependent. Caffeine dependent. Oh yeah, I didn't even know. And about he was like that. celebrating it. I'm he like, was okay, so it shows that you have all to, right, you're druggy. addicted. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should be arrested. Oh my not god, not celebrated. He, he's. I'm like, okay, so you're showing me that your weakness is coffee. Yeah. <laughs> that, if you took away coffee from you, you just couldn't get anything done. Yeah. Then. So he brought up like a, a good metaphor, the author right. in this book. So yeah. so imagine you're just in the kitchen. Your yeah. roommate comes down. This is in college. Your roommate comes down the yeah. steps and he says, he says, you know, I'm really tired. I need some coffee. And he brews a cup. Mm -hmm. That's normal, right? Yeah. Imagine if he said, you know, I'm really tired. And he took out like a powdered caffeine from his bag and he put that in his mouth. <laughs> and then you say, oh, you're, you're on drugs, dude. But because it's a marketable drink, we don't view it that way. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely not marketed like that. Not but, at all. Yeah. There are people that like, I will see and always have like a cup of Starbucks with them. Like they just always have it. Like they just will not ever put it down. Yeah. So, but the thing is con wise, there's not a lot of cons. Uh, you, you know, it harms your sleep if you drink it too close to bedtime. Right. And it can increase your blood pressure, but I'm not too worried about that at my age. So I don't know. It's, there's not a whole lot of long-term negatives, but at the same time, you are developing a dependence to yeah. this thing. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, so what's the verdict here, Raj? I don't know. I you don't drink coffee. Not well. I, I drink like a little cup in the morning, but like, okay. You don't drink coffee. I don't drink coffee. Jeez, I on feel events. Like, I feel like every if, if I'm at my grandmother's house after right. dinner. Yeah, like I feel like everyone either has a a uh, like a you know those like typical Wawa things like little cups of like they have like the Wawa mugs or whatever. Yeah, like I've seen everyone with those, or they have the Dunkin' Donuts one. Oh, yeah, the Starbucks one. I've never mm -hmm. seen, like, 90%. Like, I remember in high school, too, everyone had those. Like, everyone. You know what I okay, mean? Okay, well, does, does tea wake you up, then, the same as coffee? I don't have it in the morning. I just have it uh, at night. But does, I feel like I'm more productive after drinking tea. Oh, does it honest. give you the the effects of, like, does it decrease your fatigue? Does it speed up your reflexes at I all? Mean, I improve about, your mood, I don't know maybe? About, I don't know about, like, reflexes. Oh, uh, like, rea not re like, reactions to things? I Honestly, I just feel like I'm more productive after drinking it. Yeah. Like, I feel like I can get, like, a lot of work done after that without getting tired. I don't know. How how do you feel about this? Is this making you feel like I'm staying away from coffee or caffeinated drinks more? Uh, it makes me think about what I'm putting in my body. Because no one ever tells you, oh, no, no, you don't, no one ever looks at caffeine as a drug. 
yeah. that people have a dependence on. Right, yeah. It's like this silly, if someone says, oh, I need my coffee, you think, it's oh, you're like, silly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, I just feel like it's just so general. Like everyone, I feel like everyone's like that. Yeah. Like I feel like if I went around and asked everyone who like I talked to, they drink coffee in the morning. Yeah. Guarantee like 90%. We'll say yeah. The reason I say ninety is because you're the you're yeah. the only person that I know that just doesn't drink <laughs> coffee, you know. But there, yeah, there's a lot of people that depend on coffee to wake them up in the morning, which honestly is kind of bad. Yeah, so I think partly the reason why it's such a problem is because the FDA they failed to regulate caffeine early on. I feel like the FDA doesn't regulate or fails to regulate a lot, a of, lot things. of things, right? That's one of especially in the United States. That's probably why the abyss, obesity rate is ridiculously mm-hmm. high yeah so they but the fda recently they kind of caught on to oh people can develop a, a dependence on caffeine yeah. and it's not it's not good for your blood pressure right so that's why all these new diet supplements that have caffeine in it they can easily just say all right we could put a warning on those but after all this time how can you put a warning label on coffee right yeah people will be like people people just won't listen see that because I, I have looked at the pills but i've never seen like i've never paid attention to like mm-hmm. the warning labels but then again, it's not like I do anything else that has, like, labels on it like that. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to think back. Have I ever, like, have ever seen that? I've seen them a couple of times at Wegmans. I've never taken any. Because I used to work at Wegmans. Yeah. Like, I've walked past and I've seen them. But, like, I've, like I've never, like, ever. It's like, one time that I was thinking of maybe trying it, but I've never actually bought it, ever. The, the pills? The pills? Mm-hmm. I... I don't want to take caffeine pills either way. I think that's just weird. That is weird. I'd rather just drink coffee. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine just taking a pill for it? Yeah. Like, oh, I don't drink coffee. I mean, I maybe the effects pills. last longer, though. Now, coffee is supposed to improve your mood and everything. I don't know how long right. that lasts. Then you crash. What if a pill's improving See, you for, like, four hours? Also, what I felt, too, is, like, every time I drink coffee, I need to use the bathroom. Yuck. Isn't it, like, a natural laxative or something, the coffee? Is or is it, really is it the it? caffeine? I don't know. I'm not a... But yeah, I feel like it could be. Not Stephen Hawking, Rush. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't do physical. Like, he's he, pretty, do... he was a pretty smart guy. I don't know. <laughs> he did physics. He did or, it, like astrology. Yeah. All right, he's still a smart guy. He's a smart guy. He was. Was. Yeah. He was. Yeah, true. Okay. I would have said like I'm not. Talk to Ross. So I'm not Stephen Hawking is all I'm trying to say. <laughs> so I don't know if it's a natural accident. Right. But... Honestly, I think, yeah, that's definitely making me question, like, you know, a lot of the things. You see, I feel like there's a lot of bad things that people do normally. Like, or in terms of, like, food and what we eat. Like, I remember, I specifically remember when I was younger. You know, in the United States, if you look at the soda, like, the cups, the the large and the medium and small cups of soda. Mm -hmm. Like, it's ridiculous how large, like... The McDonald's cups of soda are compared to what they are in Canada. Oh, really? Yeah, they're huge. So, what I'm curious about, I'm sure you don't have this information on you. Right. Is in, like, let's say a large cup of soda at McDonald's. How much, how many cans of soda is that? Can we get a quick Google search? Of course. So, actually, what I found, I actually found two things, right? So, to answer your question, like, a large McDonald's cup currently... Is going to be 32 ounces. Okay. And in a can of a regular soda, that's 12, 12 ounces. So you're looking at two and a half cans. Yeah, nobody, but nobody tells you when you ordered a large soda. <laughs> Can you imagine just drinking two and a half cans of soda? N- nobody thinks, I'm sure some people do that with their dinner, drink I, two cans of oh, soda. I can. But if you told most Americans, oh, by the way, this, this cup has two, right. equivalent of two soda cans in there, people would say, oh, can I just have the cup with one can right yeah yeah because i dude i don't drink that much because i i know like when i'm at home whenever like one of my brothers takes out like a can of soda from outside from our freezer or whatever or fridge mm-hmm. we'll like split a can you'll split a can of soda with your brother like i'll pour some i pour like half of it in my cup oh that's nice and then he'll pour half of, like that's all we go drink like you won't drink that much but actually the second thing i found was actually when the Obamas were in the White House, Michelle Obama really pushed, or she influenced, like, um, proportion sizes. So I'm pretty sure actually McDonald's actually shrank their sizes for the soda. 